What's the... We will never speak of that again. If I could speak. Wow. <clears throat> am I 27 or am I 12? What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 188 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. And before we start off episode 188, you should be using a VPN for your setup. And this episode is sponsored by NordVPN. If you don't have a VPN yet, they are essential for protecting your privacy. And you can go to nordvpn.com slash randomfrankp to save 75% off a three-year plan. And using code randomfrankp at checkout will get you an additional month for free. I'll drop that link in the description for you guys. They have over 5,200 servers in over 60 countries that is updated weekly, even China, and the servers are blazing fast. They make it very easy to protect your browsing and your location. The interface is very simple, and there is even a Chrome browser plugin. Literally just takes seconds. Now, funny enough, what I use NordVPN for is with Netflix. A lot of time, you know, shows and content are region locked or just not available in your country. So I have it turned for me to be out of the country so I can watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine because it's not on Netflix in the US. And you can do that too with tons of other shows and content. It's also a good way to avoid, you know, censorship and bandwidth limits. If you ever have any issues or any questions, they have 24 seven customer support via live chat and email. And to top it all off, you get risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. So again, if you want to sign up and get 75% off your three-year deal, plus an additional month, go to nordvpn.com slash randomfrankp and use code randomfrankp at checkout. Thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this episode. Now, first we have G-Man, and I'm really digging the vibes to this one. It's definitely a chill setup, we could say. And a good job of mixing the warm and cool colors. I like the, the warm lamp to complement the sunset in the wallpaper. Some purples to go along with the light blues. It's, it's definitely a nice color theme. So for his two displays, his primary is a 27 inch from Dell. It's a 144 hertz panel with the vertical monitor on the left side, also from Dell, Dale. Dale made this monitor and it's 24 inches. Checking out his peripherals, I'm loving his custom Ducky 1-2 mini RGB keyboard. He modified the case from aluminum, got the Hightower Miami keycap set, a custom aviator cable on there, making it look really nice, going along with the Model O mouse. And then for audio, you can see mounted on the right side of his desk there is the Audio-Technica ATH M50X headphones. That's gonna lead us now right into his custom hardline water-cooled PC. This is the Leon Lee PC-011D case inside the Intel i7-8700K CPU on the Asus Maximus XZ370 motherboard and a water-cooled GTX 1080 Ti graphics card. Uh, no information on the company or anything about RAM. Two sticks there, so looking like, I'd assume, 16 or 32 gigs, but it is a really nice, clean purple build. And also, I know people are gonna ask about it. We've been seeing these a ton lately. It's these pegboards from Ikea. And up here, he just has some laptops mounted and stuff. Some organization adding to the whole theme of his setup, and it fits in really, really nicely. So G-Man, I think he did a great job with the overall mash of colors here. Like I said in the beginning, the warmth and the cool colors blends really nicely, highlighted by that vibrant purple PC, which looks killer as well. It's somehow all colorful, but really chill at the same time. Next, we have D. Aver with a really cool NASA theme setup. Lots of nods to space here. <laughs> it's a pretty cool looking theme, even with things like the blue RGB lights and uh, the fairy lights also blue as well, the astronaut wallpaper. You don't see this kind of theme too often, so I'm digging it. Points for originality. So he's opted to go with the dual stacked monitor orientation with his primary on the bottom being a 24 inch from Acer and the overhead also a 24 inch but from Asus. And again, points for spanning the wallpaper so it matches and lines up. And getting into his peripherals, his keyboard, as you know, is the GMMK. It's from Glorious. It's their TKL with a custom keycap set and box jade switches inside with Logitech G903 Lightspeed mouse on a Vipum's extended mouse pad. Also has an Echo Show 5 uh, sort of smart clock there. I'm digging the placement right there. And his speakers are the Bose C2. Now his headphones in order of appearance up top is the Philips SHP9500S followed by the Audio-Technica M40X as the middle child and the Taotronics BH22. It got cut off, but it was there. 
So now into the PC, this is the NZXT S340 Elite case in all black inside an Intel i7 7700K CPU with EVGA CLC240 AIO. 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LED RAM in white on the Asus Strix Z270E motherboard with the EVGA GTX 1080 Ti FTW3 hybrid GPU. Really like a nice and clean black and white build like this. And again, some things around the room to tie the whole NASA theme together. You did a good job of tying what I would assume is a passion to NASA and space into your setup. So you turned a space station into your gaming room, which is, I think, a really cool thing to See. Well, I guess technically he'd be turning his setup into a space station, but you guys get what I mean. Oh yeah, next up we have one of those setups that mixes, you know, black and white with a lot of the natural tones with some of the wood and the green from the plants. I love setups like this. He's got the setup built from this corner desk to, you know, make the most out of this space in his room. So checking it out for his monitors, his primary is a 29 inch LG ultra wide with the vertical one mounted on the right side being a 27 inch also from LG. Now for his peripherals, loving this setup here. He has the Z60 V3 with tangerine switches inside, a nice wooden wrist rest to go along with the case of the board. Absolutely love the color coordination of the keycaps to his custom coil cable with the Logitech MX Master wireless mouse and a little like mini macro pad, a little numpad there off to the left side. Probably also DIY, you can tell he takes pride in the hobby, all in a nice felt desk pad. Then for audio, his headphones of choice are the Bear Dynamic DT770 Pro. Now we're going to move on over to the right side of the desk and check out the PC, the NZXT H500 case. Inside we have an Intel i5-8600K CPU with the Cryorake H7 CPU cooler, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM on a Gigabyte B360 HD3 motherboard with an Asus GTX 1060 Phoenix graphics card, haven't heard of that one, took me a second, and a special appearance by a little plant friend inside as well. Now we said he's a big fan of Gundam and I like how just subtly throughout the room, you know, hidden in some of the plants and stuff, he has some of the model figures built and on display. Just, you know, fitting in naturally, looking really nice. And then on the right side of the room, which is connected pretty much to his setup, is a nice kind of entertainment center. Again, some figures around there, a nice spot to kick back, relax, you know, maybe watch some movies and stuff. And it is hooked up to his PC as well. So it's a pretty cool secondary spot. Altogether, it makes for a really great room. And you know, with the, the custom keyboards and the Gundam figures, you can see the hobbies come out. Now we've got CG Sterk with a very colorful gaming setup here. Three displays with a vertical on the left, center mounted, and TV up top. And as you probably noticed, a great job with cable management because I can't see any cables. They are all hidden perfectly. So his primary is an LG 34 inch ultra wide with a 25 inch 2K monitor from Asus mounted on the left. And that top display is a 43 inch 4K monitor from Acer. And you know, surrounding it, he has the LifeX beam, which gives it that cool kind of, you know, RGB glow. Checking out his peripherals to the Razer Black Widow Elite keyboard with the Razer Mamba Elite mouse. His headphones, while not pictured here, are the AKG K702 with the Cantu YU4 speakers. Got some controllers and stuff over here, it's like a secondary peripheral. And with the pretty much all white desk, you can see here, just like the glow from the monitors reflecting, the LifeXZ beams reflecting, it all looks really cool. Now inside his PC, this is the Be Quiet Dark Base 700 case in the special edition white. He has an Intel i9-7900X CPU with the Corsair Hydro H115i Pro AIO, 128 gigs of Ballistic Sport RAM on the ASRock X299 motherboard with an Asus ROG RTX 2080 Ti graphics card. And yes, yeah, some figures inside the, uh, the Samurai Snow Trooper and the Samurai Vader. You don't see these figures too often, but in here, it literally fits in because his theme is also like literally this. That figure is his wallpaper. Definitely pretty cool. So it's just a really cool spot with all those displays and the RGB beams. It gives the room a really nice glow. Even got the ivy drooping down there. And with everything going on, like I said in the beginning, a killer job still with cable management. Really good setup here. And then you thought we were going to go an entire episode without a setup featuring the Nanoleaf 4 light panels. Ha! 
you wrong. But we have Baleem here, and I think we had him on like right before the holidays last year, so returning with his 2019 revision. As you will see throughout this montage, he changes the light panels to correspond with the theme and the color of his wallpaper. He submitted a plethora of uh, photos here, so it might not make sense, you're just going to see a lot, uh, a lot of pictures. So oddly enough, he didn't mention what his monitors were, uh, so we know there's at least four of them. And my man Bleem, you gotta straighten them out a bit. You, you, you can't get away with that on this show. Come on, man. So besides the near 50 Nanoleaf Aurora light panels he has in his room, something to do have information on are his peripherals. At the Ducky 1-2 80% keyboard with the glorious PC Gaming Race Model O mouse, probably the most famous mouse ever now at this point, with the Stream Deck XL. Checking out the PC, again, perks of the RGB is so he could literally match every component in his PC to the color of the panels and the wallpaper and all that good stuff. Inside the NZXT H700i case is the Intel i7 9700K CPU with the NZXT Kraken X72 AIO. Got 32 gigs of Crucial Ballistics Tactical Tracer RGB RAM on Asus Maximus 11 Hero motherboard and an Asus RTX 2080 Ti ROG Strix graphics card. Definitely a clean looking build though, like the uh, the white braided cables there to reflect the RGB colors. Looks pretty cool. So all right guys, I'll wrap it up for episode 188 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed. Again, thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring. Those links will be down below. As well as all the gear and hardware you saw listed in this episode, I'll drop it in the description. And if you want to possibly submit your setup, you can check the description yet again for some very simple submission instructions if you want to be possibly considered for a future episode of Room Tour Project, yada, yada, yada. If you liked this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.